Hey everybody. Good to see you. Happy Saturday. I think it's Saturday. <laughs> Has anybody else lost track of the days? Um, man, oh man. Yeah, my husband today thought it was Sunday. <laughs> Because he's off today, which is normally not the case. So we were going to pick up an order at the store. He's like, it doesn't seem like it's ready yet. I'm like, you know today's not Sunday. Today's Saturday. <laughs> so pop on, say hello. I wanted to do something that was fun for, uh, something that felt springy. Um, I already had done um, Easter eggs for Easter. I know this weekend is Easter. Um but um, I wanted to do something springy, and eggs really remind me of spring, especially when, um, well, Easter eggs, obviously, but also um, those pretty birds' eggs that um, I think we're going to be seeing soon. So um, let me know if you've seen any birds' eggs. I haven't really seen, run across any birds' eggs yet, but that's what we're going to be painting today. So let me, um, let me get my screen ready to go. Ah. Nope. There we go. Okay. So everybody say hi. Let me know where you are. Um, it's been a little while since I've, um, well, I guess I was in here last week. We did our happy mail. Um, this is this could also be another happy mail um, design. If you haven't sent those out, you uh, I totally think you should. Um, sorry, I need my pencil. Pencil, pencil. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Um, so you could make your eggs in a nest. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this into kind of a, um, a wreath of some sort, a little bow. Um, so what I'm going to do is, um, or what I did was I did a little circle lightly in pencil. Um, and now I'm just going to kind of, I'm just going to eyeball it, um, some eggs. So I'm going to do an egg shape. I'm going to do three. Okay. So one is going to be kind of in the center and the others are going to be Kind of behind it okay so let me show you so this one is my center one and then and then the other two are behind it so you can erase any lines you need to and so I'm going to show you and this is just I was just playing around but this is kind of what we're going for so we're going for some speckled uh, eggs so and these were really fun so, and these are also one of those things that, you know, I love to show you um, that look uh, more difficult than they really are. So if you did these and sent them to somebody, they would be super impressed, okay? So first thing we're going to do, we have some clean water. And, uh, oh, as I go, guys, if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I will, hopefully they'll pop up. Sometimes it can be a little weird. Um, <laughs> But uh, let me know, and I'd be happy to answer them, of course. So um, I'm going to take some water. And so for these eggs, now, if you're new to me, you may not know that I um, use uh, this one. Well, I use multiple techniques, but um, I like to use wet on wet. And what that means is I wet the paper, and then I put wet paint on top of the paper. And what happens is, in my opinion... Um, it makes the, uh, it gives it a much softer look, okay? So I'm going to start with my front egg, okay? So all I'm doing is I'm putting water inside the lines I drew for my egg. Okay? And so when I, I'm, I'm going to use fairly um, realistic uh, colors for this. So I'm going for um, like a like a robin's egg, um, something kind of blue. I'm not sure what. I'm sure there are other birds out there that um, have blue eggs. Maybe my husband knows. Hey, babe. I think he has his headphones. <laughs> he knows lots about birds. Um, so I have this light blue. 
Um, and I'm going to, and you really want to start out with anyway, a very light shade, okay? So I'm gonna kind of focus on one side and go over about mm, two thirds of the way. Okay. And then I'm going to skip a little bit of space and then I'm going to go around this side. Okay. So what I'm going to, what I'm doing is I'm kind of creating a little bit of a highlight. And so when you're doing watercolor, um, you have to save the white parts. Um, I mean, you can always go back in and add white on top, but, um, it's a really nice effect when you can save uh, a white area where you want to put a highlight. So this would be like the sun's sh shining down and here's the highlight. And then the shadow space would be over here. Okay. So I'm going to leave that dry. And let's do, um, let's do this one. Now, here's the deal. This paper I'm using is fairly absorbent. Um, so I don't have to wait super long for it to dry. But um, if you want your three eggs to look separate, you're going to have to um, let your paper dry, okay? So what I just did was I just put, that's our first layer, okay? So we work in layers. If you're new to watercolor, um, you may not know that. We work in layers, and it's I, um, I explain it as, or I kind of, uh, uh, I think of it as, like, curtains like sheer curtains that kind of layer on top of each other to make a picture okay um so i if you and actually there are a lot of you that are new so um you may not know that uh i uh think about often when i'm thinking about layers uh like when we go to see um the nutcracker we go see the nutcracker just about every year and um there is a scene um, where I guess it's, uh, like when the, the party scene ends and you're like going into the, the fantasy land or whatever, um, there's a scene in the production that we see that, um, uh, has all these like curtains that kind of start opening up. Um, well, they, they come in and then they open up and, um, as they come in, they are building a scene and it like, it builds like this almost three dimensional picture. It's really cool. And so that's how I look at doing watercolor. You're doing little layers right on top of each other, generally, okay? All right, so if you noticed, I put water just where that one egg is on the side here, okay? So, hey guys, let me know um, what you are painting today. Um, hopefully you're painting along with me. That would be wonderful. Um, and, um, oh, let me know if you have any questions, okay? And I am open for suggestions for more spring paintings too. I know we are smack dab in the middle of spring now. And I'm already thinking summer stuff. I don't know about you. I'm already thinking about summer stuff, and uh, I'm going to be bringing, bringing in some summery themes here soon. All right, so I'm going to let that dry, okay? So if you notice, I kind of left that little highlight, and if you didn't make it large enough, you can always go in with a clean brush, just like I did, and pull up some of that white, or pull up some of that paint so you have white. Okay, so now I'm going to add in my speckles, okay? So we're going to do this in a couple of different um, uh, steps, all right? So I'm going to go back to this um, front egg. And if it's dried, that's okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little layer lightly and gently of water, okay? Because what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take a little bit of brown and I'm going to add just a tiny bit. So I, I don't want a ton of paint on my brush. So I'm even gonna take that, I put some brown on here. 
I'm gonna just tap my towel so I make sure I don't have too much paint. And I'm going to add my little speckles. So this is just the first part of the speckles. Oh my gosh, I love these. These are so much fun. And then I'm gonna go in here and add some brown as well. And you can do whatever colors you want. If you want to kind of look online and get some um, ideas for uh, four different kinds of birds eggs. There's, you know, a jillion in one and they're all so pretty. So I'm going to come over here now. So I'm going to let these be. I'm going to come over here to my third egg and put some clean water, clean-ish, you know, after you use it a while, it goes, does get a little scummy. If I think of it, sometimes I like to have like one jar that I just use for my clean water and one jar that I use as I go, oh, what am I doing? <laughs> I forgot the blue. <laughs> there we go. No biggie. No biggie. Do you see what I did there? I accidentally put in a, the wrong color, and so I just kind of grabbed some water and picked it up. No big deal. That's one of the nice things about watercolor. No biggie. It's easy. It's it. It's easier than you think to fix boo boos or cover up boo boos. Okay, so let me know what you guys are doing for summer. Um, I am, you know, it's one of those things where, like, we had all these plans and, you know, trips in mind, and now we're going to kind of have to wait. So I know a lot of you guys are kind of in the same boat. We really don't know what it's going to look like, um, which is part partly why I'm so excited about my um, online uh, virtual art program I have going on this summer. And so if you are a mom or grandma or whoever <laughs> that takes care, takes care of kids um, in the summertime um, or you are planning on it, um, then you should think about getting on the wait list. I'm calling it, it's Online Watercolor Summer Camp. And so it's a, it's all online and it's, what's great about it, I think, is that, um, first of all, it is like summer camp at your house or wherever you are. Um, I am, um, I, I'm excited that, you know, it, because we don't know what summer is going to look like, you know, we might have to stay home more than we had originally planned. So you can take it, do it at home, or you can do it, um, on the road. Like if you're going on vacation, you can take it with you. Um, easy peasy. And that's one nice thing about watercolors. It's very, um, travel friendly. <laughs> so if you're traveling, then, um, then watercolor is the thing to use, in my opinion. I, I, I do acrylic sometimes. I definitely wouldn't take it, take it traveling with me. No way. Too messy, too bulky, you know. That's why I love, part, one of the reasons why I love watercolor so much. Okay, so I'm going to leave these um, be. And we're going to come back in and, and we're going to make them look even more lifelike. Um, in, in just a little bit. So in the meantime, uh, if you're just joining me, hello. Um, I said I was going to um, make this more of a, uh, like a wreath. So I'm gonna add some, um, first I'm gonna add some little pink blooms. And then I'm going to let those be and then add some branches around it. So, so the blooms really, you can um, make whatever color you want, okay? So let's see here. I'm just gonna make these very simple. So just little, oh, I put my hand in my paint, oh well. Very light flowers. They don't have to be anything too, uh, too specific. I don't know what kind of branches these are. I'm kind of thinking like, uh, like cherry blossoms, like little pink cherry blossoms, because the sticks are going to kind of come around and meet up with these blossoms. So I'm just kind of randomly, here's my circle, if you can't see that, and then I'm putting my blossoms around. Okay. Here. 
maybe I'll add one more down here or up here so it's a little more symmetrical how about that all right so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a nice puddle of brown okay and I'm using a round brush which you, many of you guys know that's my favorite brush and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the tip of my brush and I'm going to start very light and then I'm going to push a little bit harder around here so the um, the branch gets a little bit thicker at the bottom so or so yeah actually I'll show you two ways so the first way you can do it is this way where I'm just gonna lightly and then go around push hard and there we go there's my branch and then I can kind of we don't have to have a blossom on every branch there we go and these don't have to be straight branches either. So light, 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 push down. Light, 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 push down. Okay, let's see, let's grab this guy. How's that? Okay, let's do the same thing over here. So I'm going to go light, 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 push down. Let me add some more branches. You can kind of go crazy with the branches. <laughs> it's hard to know when to stop. Um, and let me show you another way. You could do it, think about the opposite, turn your paper upside down, and start thicker and then get lighter. So if you wanted to, you could start thicker and then really make it light and thin towards the top okay but I I think I'm liking doing it this way <laughs> all right let's go there we go this was so nice about a round brush you can make thick lines you can make thin lines All right, there we go. Um, let's do this. I'm gonna add some more little sticks here. So it kind of mimics a, a nest, I guess, of sorts. Okay, so for now, I'm gonna let that be. Oh, thanks guys. Um, and now I'm gonna show you how I'm doing um, even more speckles okay so the way this is going to work is so this is kind of our this was our our base layer of our um, eggs and so now now that this is dried quite a bit um, I'm gonna go back in with some speckles okay and so to do that what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab a uh, flat kind of stiffer bristled brush and I'm gonna grab some of my brown here and this is gonna take a little bit of like finesse. Now, if you really wanted to, you could uh, let the rest of this dry and then tape it off so you don't get speckles everywhere. If you do, it's okay. <laughs> but um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to very lightly, here I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna pull my bristles up and they're gonna flick the paint down. So in order to kind of keep it in this small area, you kind of have to be careful and very, um, just very delicate okay so I'm going to just flick oh I got a big old blob of paint and if it happens no big deal see <laughs> no big deal sometimes that happens all right I'm gonna cover my paper here Okay, so if you can see, let me show you a little bit closer. We're adding some speckles to our eggs. Oh, those are looking cute. All right, if you want to, you can kind of cover up the rest. Oh, see, this, this egg is a little bit dry, or wet still, so we're going to leave that be. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to stop there. So now if you see some speckles that you don't want. 
that's all right. Just take your water and kind of get your paper wet and then you can always dab it up. Or you can just let them be. It's really, you know, it's one of those things. It's not a big deal. I like to have a paper towel or a towel around for stuff like this. So you can always dab it up. There. Now, if you want to go back in and add some more blooms and blossoms to your um, branches, you totally could. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to even go back in and add another layer of branches on top. Okay, so um, that's the fun thing. You can kind of just let things dry and then as they dry and you look at them and go, hmm, do I want to add more? You can. Um, or you could just leave it be. Okay, so um, I think something like this would be really perfect for doing some kind of lettering too. So um, let me know. Sorry, this brown over here is bugging me. <laughs> oh, that's a little bit better. Um, so if you have anything that you think would um, go well lettering wise for this, um, let me know because I will, I'm, uh, I'm always open for suggestions. So yeah, guys, um, so fun. Are these not like perfect for spring or what? So I'm going to uh, let this dry and finish it up and then I will post it in the group. So uh, I'm so glad you guys popped by. If you are interested in getting on the wait list for online watercolor summer camp, um, give me a little uh, comment and um, I will be posting that sign up link here in a minute. But um, if you want to make sure you see it, uh, let me know and I will send you um, a, the link. Okay, so uh, and the, to be on the, on the wait list is a real big um, perk because you um, get access to early bird specials for it and extra bonuses, which is always good, right? So um, think about summer, don't let it sneak up on you, uh, especially if you're home with the kiddos. I know uh, right now uh, a lot of people are doing school stuff, so you have that kind of schedule and structure for your day. Well, in summer, when school's out and summer's here, you, you might wanna keep going with that structure, I get it. So adding a little bit of um, art fun with the kiddos doing watercolor it'll be perfect so um, i'm really excited i'm going to be sharing more about what's going to what it's going to entail soon but if you want to get on the wait list just let me know and i will um send you that link and uh, yeah guys if you have any questions just let me know so i'll see you later bye